Right, let's get to work on this. We have to restrap this because that hanger has to go. So that strap has to come off. But don't go taking the strap off. So don't put another one on its plate without putting another one in place first. Because that wouldn't be the brightest thing you were to do. Very important guys, make sure the bikes are strapped down on top of these things because they've only got a small portion of the frame that we're actually sitting on. And any bit of a knock can knock the bike off the off the stand. Right guys, yep. when you're doing this, there's a pin at the very front of the caliper. Holes in the pads. Loosen that off first, and that should help you uh, that should help things along a small bit. To make it easier than when the caliper is off. There's a little cap on it there, so don't lose that. What I'm doing is I'm loosening the pin that holds the that holds the, the uh, that holds the pads in because it's much easier to do it on the bike than off the bike. Now we've got a couple of mounting bolts for the for the for the pad, for the caliper. And where it comes one of them is a major pain to get to. Oh, there you are. Right, guys. I must take the I must take the side panel off of this because the uh, the reservoir is just inside the side panel. Make sure you close this thing because brake fluid and paintwork don't mix at all. Let's get the scarper off. Right, guys. There we have the caliper off. already. Now you can see why. These are the old, are the old pads. They're covered in rust. They're in a pretty bad state. So, big difference. So we'll get these fellas in. In there. Get a retaining pin in. Again, when 
goes back on the bike, you can tighten up that retaining pin. Back break a couple of times. There we go. Put the pistons back out again. Last thing you want to be doing is going down the road, putting your foot on the back brake after after putting new pads in to find out you got no brake.